Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about limit. So now I will show you how to answer. Question number one. We apply the formula in here. That's about a minus b multiplied by a plus b equals to a square minus b square. So because I want to cancel about the square root, that's why we need to have the power 2 in here. But this one is about a minus b. To create about this one, we need to multiply by a plus b on numerator and denominator. Now, this one you got about s plus 2 minus 2 because we have the power 2 in here. So we can solve about the square root and this one too. 2 minus 2 we can solve. s divided by s we can solve. Now we put number 0 cone here. And you got about 1 over number 2 with the square root of number 2. And this is the final answer. Question number 3. We have the formula in here. Cosine 2 8 equals to 1 minus 2 sine 8 square in here. Why do I need to use this one? Because we have number 1 in here. We need to minus number 1. Later that we can apply another formula in here. So cosine s, that's about 2 multiplied by s over 2. So we see that we just create about cosine 2a. Capital A is about s over 2. Now we need to transform into this one so this one you got about 1 minus 2 side s over 2 square next we need to open parentheses so this one you got about negative number 1 plus 2 side of s over 2 square So 1 minus 1, we cancel. Now, I will multiply by s over 4 on numerator and denominator because we have the power 2 in here and I, will, I want to put inside with the power 2. That's why we need to have s. Why do I need to have the number 4? Because we have number 2. If we, want, if we want to create s over 2 next to side, you need to have number 4. Number 4 represents about 2 to the power of 2. So this one, you got about s squared over 4. Number 2 with number 4, we simplify. And you got about s over 2. Next. For this one, we can write like this. Next, we can write the limit. So we have the limit of s over 2 multiplied with another limit with this one in here. So, we have the formula that's about sine of AS over AS, you got about number 1. So, capital A in here, that's about 1 over 2. 
So, when s approaches to number 0, sine of 1 over 2s, 1 over 2s, you got about number 1. But, when s approaches to number 0, we put number 0 going here, and you got about 0. So, we have about 0 over number 2 multiplied by 1 square, and you got about 0. And this is the final answer. Question number 3, we apply the same formula for this one in here. So this one you got about number 1. And the last one, we put number 4 going here, number 4 going here. And this one, we can write into 4 multiplied by side 2s over 2s to the power of 2. We apply same formula for this one in here. And this one you got about number 1. And we have 4 multiplied by number 1. You got about number 4. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.